Good morning guys, my name's Cody and this is the Thistle Downs Farm Blog and today we are going to learn how to restore a cast iron skillet. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming it's because you have a skillet that looks something like this. This skillet has been severely neglected. I feel bad for the skillet, but today I'm going to show it some love, some TLC, and it is going to look beautiful by the time we're done. Cast iron skillets are an amazingly versatile tool for your kitchen arsenal, but they do require some special care. If you don't take care of them regularly after each use, they can develop rust, which you can see here on the bottom of it. They can get corroded, and there is some corrosion going on. And I don't even know what this is. It looks like it looks like some egg or something that got baked on there and never left. But but it's okay. By the time we're done, this is going to look beautiful. You only need a couple things to do this. Um, you don't really want to use detergents or soaps on your cast iron skillet. So in order, in order to scrub all that old crap off there, we're going to use some coarse kosher salt. And that's going to add, that's going to give us some good abrasion. <clears throat> An old rag. This will get stained, so make sure it's something you don't care about. And then uh, just some generic cooking oil. You don't want to use olive oil on your pan because olive oil can uh, go rancid. But uh, generic cooking oil should work okay. Canola oil should work okay. I think the, the gold standard is uh, flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil dries the hardest and has a very high smoking point. So it really adheres to the uh, cast iron well. But... We're going to use some regular old vegetable oil and it should work just fine. Okay, so you never want to leave your cast iron skillet soaking in water, that'll cause it to rust really quickly. But in order to get some of this hardened junk off of here, we are going to put some really hot water in here just for a few minutes, just to help loosen it up. Okay, just to, just to kind of soften that stuff up. And now we are going to add some coarse kosher salt to the pan. Start with that. And we're going to add just a little bit of water to this just to make it kind of like slushy. Alright, and then we take our rag and scrub a dub dub. And you can see all that baked on stuff is just coming right off. We'll rinse it off. I mean, looking 10 times better already just gonna give it one more round of salt just to make sure it's nice and clean So I'm just going to throw it on the burner and let the burner boil off all the water just to make sure it's, the pan is nice and dry. Mm. 
Okay, the pan's nice and dry. I'm just gonna set it here, let it cool down for a few minutes before I do anything else to it. And in the meantime, I'm just letting my oven heat up to 450 degrees for the seasoning process. Okay, so now our pan is still warm, but it's not super hot anymore. So now it's time to put, to rub a layer of oil all over this pan. Not just the inside, we're gonna, go, we're gonna do the inside, we're gonna do the bottom, we're gonna do the sides, we're even gonna do the handle. The whole thing gets covered in oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a paper towel, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan, and then I'm just gonna rub it all in. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do the same thing. Nice layer of oil. Now I'm gonna take another paper towel and I'm gonna wipe off all the excess oil I can. Right, it's looking better already. So the way cast iron works is the cast iron is actually porous. So what you're doing is you're rubbing a layer of oil on there and you're letting it seep into those pores. And then when we go to heat it, it's actually gonna, when, once we get it above that smoke point, it's actually gonna start bonding with the iron itself. And that's gonna create a nice smooth surface for cooking on. But we want to get the, all the excess oil off because if you have too much oil on there, it can, it can kind of go rancid. Our oven's heated up to 450. What we're going to do now is place our cast iron skillet in the oven, face down right in the middle, and we're going to leave it there for 45 minutes to an hour. And in an hour, we'll check on it. Okay, it's been in there for about 50 minutes and it should be all set. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna wear a hot hand because this is gonna be super hot. That is extremely hot. So I'm just gonna leave it there for a little while, let it cool off until it's warm too hot. And because this pan was severely neglected, I'm gonna do the whole process one more time and it should be good to go. All right guys, there you have it. A beautifully seasoned and restored cast iron skillet. I think you'll agree with me that this looks much better than when we started. The, the key to keeping it nice is really to clean it as soon as you're done using it. Don't let the food or whatever that you cooked in here sit in there for hours. Don't let it stay on your stove. Take the stuff out right away. Let it cool down a tiny bit so you don't burn yourself trying to clean it, but get the stuff out. Pour a little salt in there, scrub it clean, and then add a nice layer of oil, and this thing will last you forever. So hopefully you found this video helpful, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and enjoy your cast iron skillet. Take care, guys.